Welcome to the intro to CCW series. In this video, we will show you how to create a ladder diagram based program within your project and take you through some logic. Ladder diagram is useful for sequential Boolean logic and replacing relays, timers, and counters. We will begin by programming some basic ladder logic on the rungs shown on screen. Direct contact can be associated with any variable you create or physical input on the controller. Click and drag to bring this onto the first rung of the ladder program. The variable selector will open up after this. Global variables can be used throughout the controller programs. Local variables can be used within the current program, including the ladder program here. System variables are related to various system attributes. IO variables are related to the physical inputs and outputs of the controller. These are used to associate a controller input to the program for use. Variables with DO are digital outputs, while DI are digital inputs. In this case, let's select a physical input to associate with the direct contact we placed. Direct coil can be associated with any variable you create or physical output on the controller. Click and drag to bring this onto the first rung of the ladder program. In this case, let's select a physical output to associate this direct coil to. On the ladder diagram, we can now see that this creates a direct link between digital input 0 and digital output 0 on the controller. We will now create some OR logic on rung 2 by having two direct contacts in parallel to one single direct coil. We can use the branch tool to allow for a second parallel path for one of our direct contacts. This now creates a direct link for digital input 1 and 2 to activate digital output 2 on the controller. We will now create some AND logic on rung 3 by having two direct contacts in series to one single direct coil. This now creates a direct link for digital input 3 and 4 to activate digital output 3 on the controller. We will now create some AND logic using the pre-existing function blocks. Click on the rung you want to add the pre-existing function block to and click on the instruction block icon in the toolbox. Select or search for the function you are after. This AND function block compares two inputs and turns on the output of the function block when both are high. Ensure you have the correct inputs you want to compare on the function block. This now creates a direct link for digital input 3 and 4 to activate digital output 4 on the controller when these input signals are high. You can now copy and paste rungs by right-clicking on a rung and selecting copy and selecting paste where required. You can create and assign your local variable by typing in a variable name in the variable selector window. This direct coil is now assigned to the local variable input combo. You can also use this input combo variable in other locations within the ladder diagram. Rung 5 and 6 now compare inputs 3 and 4, stores the result in a local variable input combo and uses this to turn on output 4. Let us now rename this program and build to test for errors. This is now ready for download to the controller. You now successfully know how to create a ladder program within your CCW project. That brings us to the end of the introduction to ladder diagram video. We hope you find the information valuable and this enables you to get started on your Micro 800 project. 